what we're talking about now is how to fund our portion of the settlement. Uh, the, you know, and, and uh, I'm sure that all of us, just as with any, any difficult uh, or other decision that we make, uh, will look back and, and hope that we have made the right decision. And I hope and I believe uh, that, that the decision to arrive at a mediated settlement is the correct decision for the organization and for taxpayers. Uh, in terms of, of funding our portion of the settlement, uh, that's really what we're talking about now. And there are a couple of different ways that, uh, that, that we could go about this. Uh, the, the most straightforward way would be to utilize funds that have already been set aside for contingency, contingency, contingencies such as this. Uh, there are, uh, you know, here we're talking about uh, a land purchase. There are uh, more than sufficient funds in our, our uh, risk management uh, uh, set aside for unanticipated, uh, unanticipated uh, issues that might come up to, uh, to handle this land purchase. But the Board of Commissioners during our last executive session uh, decided that we wanted to engage in as open and public a process as possible, which is why we uh, determined that it would be a better route to hold a budget emergency here, uh, which, as we was already discussed this morning, has been uh, scheduled for the 5th of July. Yesterday, we, uh, we hoped to buy ourselves a little bit more time to have a more robust, uh, a more robust period of time in which to, uh, to engage public input. Uh, unfortunately, the other parties to the mediation and to the settlement were not interested in, uh, in extending that time period. So where we find ourselves now is we have committed to, uh, to a settlement and it's our job to uh, to pursue that so uh, the way I see it we have two courses of action that will allow us to do this at this point and I just want to do uh, invite my fellow commissioners to to, uh, you know, to volunteer their their opinion as to what would be the best way to go uh, and or perhaps uh, there's another alternative that I haven't thought of yet uh, but as I understand it, we have until July 15th to, uh, to meet our terms of the agreement. Uh, we can either go ahead with the path that we had originally discussed, uh, temporarily revised yesterday, which is to hold a budget hearing, or excuse me, to hold a budget emergency hearing on July 5th. Uh, that would provide the public with as much opportunity as we are able to provide uh, in order to have input on this, uh, or we can uh, we can utilize a, a budget modification, uh, which which would involve less public input. Uh, it would perhaps be more straightforward. But either way, uh, I I think that it is important that we live up to our end of the agreement. I think if we were to uh, to uh, lose this mediated settlement, uh, just as we have determined up until now that our potential liability uh, would be sufficient, that as distasteful as it may seem, uh, that this was this was the proper and best solution. Um, I, I, I think that it would be a shame to lose that opportunity. Uh, so, since the, the other participants in the, the mediation were unwilling to extend the deadline, which, which I see uh, when it was originally set was a reasonable deadline, uh, I think it's important that we decide how to move forward such that, uh, such that we can live up to our obligation. And I wanted to briefly acknowledge um, both of the comments that the Treasurer made this morning. Um, and because they're they're important, and uh, the first had to do with whether uh, whether we've seen and read the initial complaint that was the, the you know, sort of at the heart of 
of this issue. Um, I can only speak for myself and say that I have read it, but it's important for the public to understand uh, that this lawsuit is not the only issue that uh, that is being uh, resolved or that would be resolved as a result of this mediated settlement. And in fact, uh, I think it would be accurate to say that uh, it's perhaps not even the main uh, and uh, the the other comment having to do with uh, with you know, motivations perhaps for uh, filing this lawsuit, um, I would like to say that from everything that I know about uh, about this situation, uh, that what we're talking about here is a systemic failure. There are a number of of uh, individuals, well-intentioned, uh, over the course of time, that have that have made decisions that have led us to be where we are now. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, any attempt to uh, to characterize what we're doing as uh, as a way to um, cover well, cover tracks or uh, uh, whatnot is just not true, and so um, I I, um, I appreciate very much that concern. I know that the public uh, shares those and other concerns, uh, and as we move forward with this, I will continue to do everything that I am legally able to to help members of the public, staff, and others understand. Uh, why we've made the decision that we have. So uh, with that, I guess I'd just love to see what